Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's talk about ways to have text stand out in the Notes app. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now, a common question people have about the Notes app is how can you highlight text? And by highlight, they mean like if you're writing on a piece of paper or you've got a printout and you use a pen like this to basically color in the text. On a computer, it's basically making the background color for the text something besides white. And you can do this in a variety of word processing apps, but you can't do it in Notes. However, usually what you're looking for is a way to have text stand out. So instead of talking about what you can't do, let's look at what you can do to have text stand out in the Notes app. So here we've got a sample note. and Let's say I want to make some text stand out. Let's talk about the simplest, most straightforward ways first. One is, of course, you could just make the text bold. So for instance, I could take some text like this, select it, and then simply go to Format. And then if you look down under Font, you'll see a variety of text formatting, styling options, and one of them is bold. Now, you're not going to actually go into this menu to do it. You're just going to use the keyboard shortcut Command B. Command B is one of the oldest keyboard shortcuts to bold text. So let's do that. Command B and you can see how it makes that text bold. It's really easy to do. If I want to do it with some other text, just select the text, Command B. If I want to unbold something, Command B works to toggle it. So I can easily select text and take the bold away. It's straightforward but doesn't really highlight the text that much, just a little bit. It's great for things like let's make all of the beginnings of each of these items bold, the things before the colon here. And you can see how it nicely kind of separates out each item here. So it's useful for that but maybe not great for actually highlighting things. You can also do some other things you might have noticed there like you can use underline or italic. If you just select this, just use Command U it underlines. And you can see that does indeed make things stand out. And that's kind of what I use a lot of the time. You can also use Command U to remove the underline. And then we saw that Command I makes things italic which really doesn't make them stand out too much. But keep in mind you can combine all of these things. So Command I for italic, Command U for underline, Command B for bold, and you can use the same thing to take those away. Now another thing you can do is change the size of the font. So you've got this text here. Let's go to Format, Font, and you can see here bigger and smaller are Command Plus, Command Minus. Now there's no way to just set it to a specific size, at least not until I show you a trick a little later on. But we can certainly use Command Plus and do it several times. So I'll just do it one, two, three times and you can see it makes the text a lot bigger. And you can combine that with Command B for bold and that text really does stand out. And then Command Minus to go back in sizes and Command B to take the bold away. Now one of the best ways to make text stand out is to just change its color. But there doesn't seem to be any color controls here in the toolbar. And you go to Format, it's not readily available here. But if you go to Font, then Show Colors or Shift Command C, it brings up the color picker. And you can use the variety of tools here to select a color. Now I've got this text selected already so I can use one of these. Let's go to this one here because it's just easy to pick out a color and I can just click right here and you can see it changes the text color. So it's very easy to color in various pieces of text with whatever you want making them stand out or not. And you can combine this with Command B for bold for text that stands out even more. Now whichever one of these you're using, notice you still have the color chips here at the bottom. And you can put your favorite colors in here and make it easy to get to them. So for instance I'll select this color right here and you see it changes my selected text. And I can also drag from the main color block there to these little color chips and add it there. So maybe if I use another color like this I can drag another one. And you can see I could even drag these around and reorder them and put my favorites here. So now I could easily select the color right there, select the color again, another one like this. You can just keep this color picker 
or color chooser around and easily just access these as you take notes. Anything you select you can just click one of these chips or one of these or use any other way to select a color. Now how about setting the font? You have a variety of different fonts on your Mac and certainly having some text in a different font would make it stand out. If you go to Format, Font, there's Show Fonts or Command T. And this brings up the little font panel here. And if you have one of these selected like the language you're using or all fonts, you could easily select a different font right here and it changes the font like that. You can also select a different size here. So this is a way of setting the size of something specific. You can click one of these numbers there or use the slider if you want or even set it to a specific number at the top there. So you don't just have to use the Command Plus or Command Minus for that. So using a different font is a great way to make it stand out. But you do have to set a bunch of different things. The font and the size and all of that. However, there's something called Favorites here. So if you are use something like this and perhaps even set a style. Like for instance, let's go find a, another font here. Like something like Courier New. Set it to that and you can see there are various styles of that font. So I can set it to the bold style and maybe make it a little bit bigger like 18 point. That makes the text stand out. Now if I were to click the three dots button here at the top left corner of the Fonts panel I could add to Favorites. Now it doesn't seem like anything happens right away but if I choose Favorites from the collection you'll see it appear there. So now I can select other text that I want to use the same font style and size and easily set it to that. So now it's easy to have a few things here in Favorites and select those. Unfortunately color, while you can actually choose it here and set the selected text to a specific color, that is not saved in Favorites. Only the font, size, and style. Now there is one last option I want to show you which is particularly useful after you've first set some sort of style like maybe change the font or change the size or made it bold or whatever. This works great if you've done a combination of those like I have here. You can go to Format and then under Font there is Copy Style which is Option Command C and then Paste Style is Option Command V. So Command C and Command V but with the Option key added. So with this text selected I'll do Option Command C and then I'll select some other text like that and do Option Command V and you can see it changes that text to match the style that I copied. So once you've used say Red Courier New 18 point bold one time you can now copy the style and paste the style somewhere else. And you can just keep pasting anytime you need it. You can even create another note like this and you can just double click to select the word that has the style that you want. Option Command C and then go back to the note that you're working on and Option Command V and you get that style. So you can kind of have this style examples note here that you can easily access to be able to copy and paste styles from. So while hopefully one day Apple does allow us to actually highlight text by adding a background color behind selected text, until then we've got lots of different ways to make text stand out in the Notes app. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the Subscribe button so you don't miss out.